No doubt you already know how to paint your nails, but I'll show you some of the tricks I use when I give myself a manicure. First, let's start with materials. I have my nail polishes, including base and top coats, a bowl of ice water, and a towel to wipe my hands with. So let's begin. Here I have my nails in all their glory. They're filed, the cuticles are good, they're all prepped up. Just don't mind my stumpy right thumbnail. For whatever reason, my thumbnails love to break. Naturally, I'm going to apply my base coat first. This base coat is the best. It's huge, it's really cheap, and it keeps my nails super strong. And I'll put this description and the description of the other products I'm using in the description box. Once that application is done, I dip my hands in the ice cold water and I twirl them around a little bit. Now this will help the nails dry that much quicker. And then after that I just gently wipe them up with a towel and make sure all the excess water is sopped up because you don't want to paint over water droplets because your nails will not look nice. Now I'm applying another foundation layer. Now this is simply an off-white nail polish. It has no special formulation or anything like that. But I use this to make my nail color pop. And it's also good for nail polishes that are a bit on the translucent side, which mine are, to make it a bit more opaque. Now if you have a white or an off-white base coat, then you don't need to do this step. And I also follow this up with a dip in the ice cold water. So today I'm working with two colors, pink and purple, and I apply these colors the same way I did the other polishes. I ended up using three coats per nail, and I followed up each coat with a cold water dip. Last but not least, it's top coat time. Same deal as the others. Put it on and follow up with some ice cold water. So you've probably been looking at my nails this whole time and thinking, um, Melanie, you kind of painted outside the lines and your nails look really sloppy. And you're right, I did and they do. But there's a reason for this. I don't like it, I don't like the look of having nails painted you know, just close to the edge but not quite. I like to have the full nail covered with nail polish. And by painting outside the lines, I make sure this happens. I like to paint my nails in the evening, so at around 10 or 11 p.m. When I know I'm settled down, I won't be going out for the rest of the night, so I don't really care what my nails look like because I know my morning routine will help get rid of that extra polish, and I'll explain how. Rise and shine! It's the next morning, and I've taken my shower already, and here are what my nails look like. So they look exactly the same way as they did before. But the soap and the water for my shower makes the excess polish very flakable. If that's even a word, I don't know, but I think you get what I mean. So I just take a stick, um, here I'm using a cuticle stick, but you can use an orange stick and just flake off the excess polish from your skin. And to be honest, most times I just flake it off with my fingernails, it's easier that way. And here are my finished nails. I think they look very nice. You can really see the difference between the nails that were painted with the off-white nail polish at the beginning versus those that weren't. The ones that weren't are more translucent and less bold than the others. So to recap my main three takeaways, one, use a white or an off-white base coat, use ice cold water to help dry your nails faster, and don't be afraid to paint outside the lines so that you get full coverage on your nails. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching I See Melanie and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you later.